guys welcome back to the channel if you're new welcome my name is Irma today's video we're doing another summer clean and decorate with me so I hope you guys enjoy today's video as you can tell we went ahead and start right into the video I am fluffing up the pillows or the throw pillows on our sofa of course and then I am going to be bringing in this sage green color one in my first summer decorate I sort of tried to decorate the sofa area but the yellow pillows were throwing me off so we're going to give it one more try. So I did do the sage blanket or well, the sage pillow because it has matches like the green on this throw blanket that I have here. And then the yellow on this blanket also matches the pillow colors, um, the yellow ones that I had put in my first summer decorate video. So I'm hoping that this helps to bring all of the living room and pulls it just together to flow with the kitchen and all the yellow and lemons that I'm doing. I'm thinking about after a while, once I get tired of this yellow color, I'm going to do some other tones of summer decor. So if you guys are in need for more summer decorating videos, don't forget to click the subscribe button, of course, and turn on the notification bell so YouTube notifies you every time I upload a video. Yeah, lift up your voice and sing. You lift up a shout of Now, if you missed the first summer decorate video, the yellow pillow covers are from Walmart. They're like around, I got them on sale for like under $8. The throw blanket is from Burlington as well as the sage pillow in the center. The sage pillow also comes in a pack of two. Like I mentioned, I got them at Burlington. I can't remember the price, but very affordable. I know they had like the burnt orange ones. I'm so tempted to pick those up for my ball decor um, and then since I mentioned that the sage pillow did come in a set of two I'm gonna go ahead and jump into my room before we could finish off the living room and everywhere else that we need to decorate and I'm gonna add the sage pillow here and then of course I do have a sage color blanket um, that's a king size blanket it's like very thin still so I'm gonna use it as a throw and instead of having it the gray one here. I went ahead and removed that one. You guys saw me do that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and add this green sage one so it brings this whole space back together. And let the ground now tremble as we raise a shout. Oh, there's only one name. We lift up a shout. We lift up a shout. So I went ahead and switched out the blanket. I like it because of that green there. So I'm just going to have to start adding some of this sage green here in my room. But to finish off my room, I do have this room spray that I just love the scent on this one. I picked it up at Burlington a while back and it was actually for $3.99. So if you guys are ever shopping at Burlington, make sure you guys check out their room sprays. They smell so good. I have one for my daughters too, but their bottle's pink, so it's a different scent. Also very sweet. I love the relaxing scent of this one. It could also work like for perfume. And then my boys also have one, but it smells more like a cologne. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spray my bedding, the pillows, and of course my curtains with this one. Now that the room is nicely cleaned and smelling fresh, we're going to go ahead and quickly jump into my bathroom. So this video is going to be a little bit of decorating, cleaning. I also have a little grocery haul and a little bit of everything over here. Just some home makings for some motivation of all sorts and types for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and just move these items out of the way so I could go ahead and quickly wrap it down. You saw me add some um what's it called ajax powder inside the or yeah the comet powder inside the toilet bowl i am going to be wiping and scrubbing all of that but i do do that off camera because i don't know i just feel it's not like a big thing to put on camera like i don't know it's just kind of like grosses me out or something so i'm just going to share with you guys when i wipe down my kitchen sink or my bathroom sink sorry and just put my decor back Bathroom sun, so moving on to my room, I forgot to wipe down my fiddle leaf that I have here in the corner. I've had this one for, I don't know, maybe 
five, six years already. Um, she does need to be replanted in a different planter, like a potter, because she's still in her one that she came in when I bought her, when well, my husband bought me her at Home Depot. So I feel she's losing the leaves on the bottom and it's turning to more of a tree type um, for the same reason, probably. She probably just needs a bigger potter and then some more dirt. But after I finish wiping off all of her leaves, you guys are gonna see how dusty she was. Um, so definitely if you have a live plant, don't forget to bathe them or wipe them down if they're just too big to be in the shower or you can also just take them out like I do sometimes but sometimes just with a rag, a wet rag is just works easier or if you're like on a time frame or something just wiping these down however you do it just make sure you get the dust off because they do need to observe their light into their leaves and with all the layers of dust it turns out very difficult for them to do that and i just wanted to share my view from my bedroom on this lovely day i hope you guys had an amazing long oh, three day oh, memorial weekend um let me know in the comments down below what you guys did we pretty much just did some casual living enjoyed lots of fruits the warmth here it was just amazing and now that my room is cleaned up the bathroom's cleaned everything is looking good i do need to vacuum the floor so i do have a little helper that's gonna help me um you guys do see me bring her out from time to time we named her molly a long time ago um, when we first got her but we are going to be using my molly vacuum to go ahead and vacuum the floors in the room i really like using the robot vacuum in the rooms especially because she gets to go like underneath the beds and vacuums like all the dust and whatever could be under there other than us hand vacuuming i feel like we overlook that spot so i definitely like to use her in the rooms so she's gonna go ahead and be in my room for a while while i go ahead and tidy up jayla's side of the room um i just have to make her bed and then she does have this little box over here in the corner which is her little house box um but as i'm doing this voiceover she doesn't have it anymore if you guys follow me on instagram i did redo this whole corner over here and took off this green swing that she has here and she just has like a hammock swing that i bought at five and below for 15 bucks um so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and tidy up the side of her room i never cry for pain And this is the um, room spray that I mentioned before when I was trying to explain to you guys about the one I have in my room. This is the one that is for the girls in the girls' room. Now moving on to the 
kids bathroom guest bathroom whatever you want to call it but the second bathroom in our house i'm just going to go ahead and quickly fix the shower curtain the rugs of course and then i'm going to be wiping down the countertops um, or the sink top the toilet i also do give that a scrub and then i have to clean the mirror because because when they shower and it gets like misty in there because they don't turn on the vent while they're showering they always turn around after they're showering i don't know why but the mirror gets all fogged up and they just have the habit of rubbing their fingers through there so you can slightly see it in the corner right there by the picture frame um that you reflects from the mirror you can see that it's messy there but we gotta clean that up And then because this bathroom, I always have this warmer. It's from, I can't remember where it's from. I don't know. I, it doesn't come to my head. Oh, it's from Senti's. Senti's. Um, so I do have this warmer. I've had it for so many years. And then I'm just going to add one of these wax warmers that are from Walmart. They're like a dollar something, like very, very affordable um and it just smells so fresh and clean pretty much like laundry day or something but this is how the kids bathroom turned out after i cleaned it all up and now we could go ahead and move back in towards making our way to back to the living room so i am going to stop here in this little entryway seating spot we have here going on so i do have a couple of stuff here bags from burlington that have items that i'm going to be putting in the kitchen and then i just have to clean off and Throw whatever doesn't go here this was a hanger from my blanket that we put in the living room um and i just have a little tip so if you buy blankets and they have these hangers what do you guys normally do with them let me know in the comments down below because before like a long time ago i used to always throw them but then i was like why do i keep on throwing them like instead of folding blankets and putting them in storage bags or storage containers why not rehang that blanket or the blanket you're not using for this season and hang it in a closet for example my boys don't have much clothes that they hang up um so we have like ton of space in the boys' room so that's why i've been hanging all of the hang all of the blankets with the with these blanket hangers that we're not using at the moment so it's just a little idea or tip for you guys if you guys especially if you have like that extra closet space definitely go for it then, what is love true but now I'm found by his grace By his grace By his grace I've been saved by the grace of my Lord By his grace By his grace Okay, so we're done pretty much sweeping the hallway and what I'm just going to do is use some spray to spray my sofa over here and the pillows, the throw blanket, the rug, as well as I'm going to do that the same to our sofa area or the throw pillows and everything. So this spray is just a little DIY fabric sprayer that I make on my own. So I just add water in the bottle and then do like the downy beads inside there and just give it a really good shaking until they like dissolve and it helps just smells like life like i barely washed the linens or something so now we're moving on to the kitchen as you can tell it's a little chaos i did do a, pick up a little bit of groceries um that i was just needing it's not much stuff but it was just a couple of stuff that we needed in the refrigerator and then i stopped by the mailbox of course so i have some mail up here that i already checked so i just have to get rid of all of these papers i have dishes to wash and then of course my bags of groceries Now we're going to go ahead and quickly unbag all of the groceries that I got here. I did stop at Food Max. I don't know if many of you guys are familiar with that store. Let me know if you guys have a Food Max 
near or in your town it's like the closest store to my house besides Vons and Vons seems a little bit too pricey for me and like I mentioned I'll also tell you normally buy um, like my food at Walmart and then just have it like delivered to my house since my son works there we do get Walmart plus but before he started working there we already had Walmart plus so I have a a little grocery haul here so unorganized but we did pick up some ice cream cups um for ice cream of course because it's getting warm i did get some celery for like tuna sandwiches with my sourdough bread so i did have that and then for dinner we're gonna be doing chicken i think like a grilled one and i did pick up a 24 pack of king hawaiian rose then we go through lettuce like so fast. So I picked up two heads of lettuce. Before I used to do like this lettuce or like the salad kits, but I stopped doing that. So now I do the head is, the lettuce head is instead. And then I picked up two green bell peppers. And over here I have two of the orange bell peppers. I normally get like the green ones and the red ones, but the red ones were so like soft, so I didn't pick those up. And then I got some zucchini squash. I don't know which one of the two these are, but we picked up two of those. I did get a little bag of potatoes. These are five pound potatoes. Then for our salads, I did pick up this Marie's Creamy Caesar Salad. Out of all of the seasoned salads that I've tried, this one has to be my favorite one. So I did go ahead and pick up two of these. And then we were low on butter, so I went ahead and picked up a bucket of butter until I could go to Costco. Then I'll get the one there. And then for also for dinner, um, I picked up some mashed potatoes. We already have gravy, so we have mashed potatoes. Then I also got some cinnamon toast for the kids, which are already in the freezer. Now to put all the groceries away, we're going to go ahead and quickly clean out and organize this refrigerator, of course. Um, the last time I did it um, a couple days ago and I put in some Lazy Susans, they've been helping a lot. I just want to bring like what we need to finish forward and the new stuff kind of put it like towards the back um, if that even makes sense. But I hope you guys are enjoying today's video. I mentioned this video was going to be a little bit of everything. It's just like a whole homemaking day in my life when I'm off of work. Like get it all together, get it all done kind of a video um so once again i do hope you guys are enjoying and feeling the motivation in today's video Oh, and I forgot to mention, I was also doing laundry. So in the morning, I did put a load of laundry to wash, and then I threw it in the dryer. So that is done. I have to go ahead and take that out. Um, and then I do have to put my husband's work clothes that are inside the washer into the dryer. But stay tuned, because I definitely found a huge, huge bonus surprise. Guess what? What? The washer just paid me $300. Three what? 
The washer just paid me three hundred dollars. Dad left money in his wall in his pants. I got three hundred dollars. <laughs> I jumped to the camera. Three hundred dollars just for me. Look at. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. I didn't even want to do laundry today. <laughs> And well, even though I seem like I'm crazy cleaning here and there instead of starting from one end and working myself through it. But now that I'm here in the washroom, of course, I'm just going to put the rest of the uh, um, wax warmers away. And then I did pick up a pack of air fresheners or, yeah, is it air fresheners? Plugins, plugins. And I'm just going to go ahead and open that put them in the little basket and then put them back in this cabinet up here of course and then I do have to wipe down the counters and then I got Jayla's teacher a little appreciation week gift um since the kids did have appreciation week but this video is definitely being uploaded I'm gonna say like a week later um so just know that we did appreciation week and her teacher just loved the gift that I got her of course she mentioned that she loves having soups all the time like it's like almost a daily thing so she said she's definitely gonna get a good use out of it when I get low, there's somewhere Okay, now that the dryer is running and the washroom is cleaned, I'm moving into the pantry. You guys saw me organize and do all of this whole setup here in the pantry. Um, I did end up putting in some light strips like the ones I have in my open cabinet. Um, so they just charge with the USB cord like the cell phone cords. But since we're over here and we have some stuff that we picked up from groceries today that needs to go in here, I'm just going to go ahead and go through the bins add what needs to be there and just make sure that everything is looking nice and tidy and then these containers i have in my hand i also picked them up recently from burlington like i'm gonna say probably like three weeks ago um and they were just 9.99 and they seal so amazingly good like it's so hard to even open them like not exaggerating hard but you know they're still good enough um so my light kind of fell there when i rubbed into it but I've been loving these bins from Hobby Lobby. The last time I went into Hobby Lobby, I saw they still had them. And I know currently right now, Hobby Lobby spring sale is 50% off. And these are part of the spring sale. So definitely stop by one of your Hobby Lobbies if you're in need for these green or sage color bins. Um, they do come in multiple colors. And as you can tell, they're different shapes and sizes as well. Will I be okay? and we're back in the kitchen again um so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and finish clearing off the counters and then i have to wash some dishes and then like i mentioned i did pick up some items here for the kitchen so we are gonna go ahead and do like a little bit of decorating of course Will I be Will I be okay? Will I be okay? 
So I needed to put the toaster away and of course the toaster throws so much crumbs it's so annoying. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly sweep out this cabinet here and then I did see a while back that Marie, um, I'll link her channel down below for you guys, but I know she used like a cake pan or a cookie tray um, to put her toaster on top. And of course I have them, but we use our cookie trays. So I was kind of going, trying to like figure out what item I did not use as much that would fit. So I ended up getting like a baking tray, but it turns out that the baking tray was a little bit too small for my toaster. Um, but we're still going to go with the flow and it's still going to work and it's going to grab all the crumbs and everything. So thank you so much, Marie, for sharing this little hack on your channel. Um, like I mentioned, I will have Marie's channel linked down below if you guys want to go check her out. She's starting her little flower garden and putting all together her cute little rental home. And it's just coming like the house is literally coming into a turn turning into a home and it's looking so cozy with her new furniture and everything is just so cute i just enjoy watching her videos and also too if you guys are in some need of some like mommy motivations um she has little ones like smaller than mine of course and she just shares so much good motivation over on her channel definitely check her out and she's also like in a healthy routine right now so if you guys need um some exercise motivation and all of that definitely go check her out so over here in the kitchen, now that most everything is cleared off, I did buy this. Um, I've been wanting one of these for like when I need to like grind dry leaves or something like that for our spices or something like that. When I'm using like fresh leaves and then I dry them. Um, so I did buy this. I don't know what it's called. So let me know in the comments down below. It doesn't even come up to my head like what it's called. But in Spanish, I know what it's called, but not in English. So I did pick this one up. I know they have some that are like marble, but I like the wooden one. And then I also picked up this three pack, this three pack of um, kitchen towels. I like the flowers on these. They kind of remind me of like hydrangeas. And then it comes with this muted yellow one. And I, I am going to end up putting all three of them in here. But then I was like, maybe that was a little bit too much. But for eight bucks for three of them, I thought it was just a, an amazing deal. So like I mentioned, we are going to put all three of them, but then afterwards I do remove the yellow one and just hang the yellow one um, on the little sage green hook that I have on the side of the stove, like where the knives are at. I have a little hook, like a doorknob hook there. So that's where I'm going to be hanging that one afterwards. So this is what this side of the kitchen is looking like. If you guys missed the rest of my summer decorating in the kitchen, that was my last upload, so go ahead and check that one out. Um, and over here, I have these other ones that are just like the herbs kind of vibe going on. So this one is a pack of two for $5, also a very good price, and they are also from Burlington. I like the quality and the size of these. They're like really big. And I don't know, it's just, I think they're just amazing. So I lately have been picking up all of my dish towels or hand towels um, from Burlington, of course. And I'm just going to hang them here on our refrigerator. I've done this a couple of times and I feel it's helpful because if the kids have like a water spill or something, then there's something like quickly to grab to be able to wipe them down. You are my shelter. And I've been wanting to put a rug in front of here and I don't know how that's going to turn out. So I just have this one that I bought several years back from Hobby Lobby. And I'm going to put it here for now and see how that works with my husband, myself, the kids. Um, just see if it's functional for a household. And if it is, then I'll go ahead and just find like a matching set that will match with this one in front of the sink. And then of course the one here in front of the refrigerator. Because in front of the stove, I'm not a big fan because of all the grease that falls. So I'd rather not have a rug there, but let me know your opinion. But here are all of the afters, how this turned out. I just love everything. And I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you for stopping by. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.